everybody welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and i am back with another video and today's video is going to kind of be more of a casual video go more in depth with us in our pregnancy journey i've been getting a lot of questions about feelings and what i want to do am i having this am i having that am i doing gender reveal you know all these types of questions and i thought it would be good to bring david along with me and kind of talk about those things so we didn't really get no questions we didn't really put it out there either but we are going to do a pregnancy q a and we have kind of formulated some questions based off of what people have been asking us and what we think people would want to know just kind of bounce off each other and see where the video goes with it so if you are interested in hearing us talk about our pregnancy life <laughs> please keep on watching i have kind of a piece of paper i kind of wrote on and i have wrote down some questions in my phone what is your feelings or what were your feelings about ttc and infertility did i put you on spot <laughs> are you do you feel like blindsided a little bit but uh... <laughs> before conceiving yeah what did you feel like in, in the journey of trying to conceive i mean i always felt like we we're gonna get to that point where we did conceive um, and in my mind, I always thought it was going to be sooner rather than later. Uh, so for me, uh, mine was mostly just trying to keep you thinking positive. Uh, because I believe if you, if you think positive, then that's the energy you're going to be putting uh, in the process. So we're trying to conceive. If we keep thinking positive with each other, then everything will be like we think it will be. But if we don't think positive, if we think negative, then that's probably the energy that we're putting out there. I never got to the point where I felt drained or to the point where I was feeling like giving up. So you never was frustrated? No, but I did see it in you a little bit, so. A lot of it. <laughs> a lot of it. <laughs> Obviously, he's, out, he's the positive person. Actually, that's why I got him this shirt. It's basically a shirt that I see and says, keep calm and think positive because that's how he always kind of been. And it has a little like positive pregnancy sign there. And mine just says, think positive. After baby's out, what weight do you want to be at? I used to be really tiny and I don't feel like after being 185, cause even when I was tiny, I was 135. I looked like I might have been like 115, 120. And then after getting bigger and getting smaller, I know that my body would not look the same if I was in my 130, 140s. So we'll probably be like 160, 165. I don't know how my body would change after baby. Max weight, would probably 170. You, when you were 185, you didn't look like you were 185. You yeah. Looked, you looked like you were like one. 55, yeah, yeah, I feel like I look more 155, 160, but I was 185. What do you feel about the potential weight I would put on? Weight gain? Yeah. I mean, I don't feel like it's a bad thing because I know it's going somewhere for a purpose. Mm -hmm. So if you're putting on weight, it's healthy weight, you know, it's all good, it's all going to come out eventually. I don't want you to put on weight that you don't feel like you can never get back on. Mm -hmm. If it's weight that you feel like you can manage, then it's cool with me. So me gaining weight for the baby doesn't make you nervous, you know, attraction and stuff like that? No, because we've, we've dealt with fluctuating weight already without... Sorry. We've, de we've dealt with fluctuating weight already with, without a baby. Mm -hmm. And I'm still here, so... <laughs> I, I thought, have I ever stopped liking you? To him, it's a benefit because he's like a booty child. Like, well, I'm booty get big when she put up the wind. And I'm like, yeah. And now, it's gonna go up here because uh, her boobs getting big too. So, I'm like, okay, I, I can handle I know, this. Or so, we go to the thighs or something like that and get some thick thighs. I like that. Now it's weird because now I'm getting smaller, but booty, my boobs getting bigger. But the booty getting smaller. The booty is getting smaller. So it's... <sighs> but is it okay because my boobs getting bigger? Uh, you missed the booty. Uh, I like the boobs. I miss the booty, but I like the boobs. It's kind of like a trade-off, so I just want to have both. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, what are we most excited for? Well, let me tell you. I'm excited when the baby get big, and then we can go to places like, you know, the YMCA, get involved in some sports, or her, and some sports, or some activities. Um, them going to school, 
and then them telling us about their day at school and stuff like that, us being to help out, um, and going on field trips, chaperone and stuff like that, just being involved, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably talking a lot with that child. I'm most nervous about the baby stage. I'm less nervous about when they're bigger. So like when they're two and up. Most nervous about, you know, infant to two. I never dealt with a little baby before, so you know, I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff for the first time and don't wanna mess up, you know. So what is about the baby stage that you most fear? Uh basically figuring out what to do because there's nobody telling you what to do. So the baby's not telling you what they want, so you have to kind of figure it out. Alright, is it a diaper change? Uh, eat? Do you need to sleep? Do you just want to hear me talk? I guess you kind of will feel that with the connection that you have with your child, but you know, that's the nervous part. So just basically trying to figure out something you've never done before. Me being alone with the baby and stuff like that. I know there's going to be times like that, so hopefully I'll, I'll grow and get to the stage where I feel comfortable. Really smart. Child, he going to be so nervous. <laughs> when I hold a baby now, it, I look he looked awkward. So, yes, his uh, good friend had a baby. When that baby was born, you holding. He was like, <laughs> "It's like, baby, it's okay." Like, it's like you, you don't want to move. You don't want to, you know, turn the wrong way. I can way, see the frustration mess up now. Love, maybe drop. I'm, I'm I can see up. the frustration. He's the baby, so he he hasn't had any other babies in his life. But child, it's gonna be a learning and a process. What I'm most looking forward to, I think, I am really looking forward to the stage where we can like take the baby to like Disney World and stuff like that. Initially, I'm most excited for it is to smell the baby. Like, that's why, I, like, no, like, I, I know other people who say the same what? thing. No other mother say the same thing, yeah. A mother has, this is one thing I have noticed about some of my friends and, and, and or people I've been around who do have newborns is a mother, you can tell a mother with a newborn versus, you know, the normal woman walking down the street, they have the baby smell on them all the time. Oh, you can smell the baby smell yeah, on them? Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't know why you would, if you're trying to smell the baby, the baby might smell different, but the mother smells like she got baby on her all day. Oh no, uh, that's, that's initially why I'm most looking forward to just to hug the baby and to, uh, figure out this whole like breastfeeding thing. I'm kind of nervous slash excited about that. Yeah, I'm gonna. That'll be interesting to see. Yeah. <laughs> Cause she doesn't like to touch her breast at all. No. Like, and then to think about a baby being on there and it's, you having to pump and it's gonna be. Interesting. It's a little cringy to be honest. Like. I'm excited about learning about it, but I think it's gonna be a little cringy for me because I don't like my nipples touched. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I gotta put a mouth on it and it's a, that, that's cringy to think about. And I'm trying to think, like, <laughs> I'm trying to like rewind my mindset about it. And think positive. I'm trying to think positive <laughs> about it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if it don't work, I'm gonna just pump. I'm gonna just pump <laughs> and that's just where life's gonna go. Now what if the baby only likes your breasts? It will wanna eat. How else is my eat? Oh, I was just crying the whole time and it throws away the bottle and just Well, you gotta find a new bottle. <laughs> you not just gonna be like, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna try, <laughs> of course. Like, I'm gonna I'm a battle it out as much as I can. Cause I feel like if I force myself, I would get desensitized to it. And then it probably hurt. I heard it's painful. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. The least thing I'm looking forward to is spit ups. I have to agree with that. Spit ups. I, I am so. Yeah. I can handle the poop. No, the spit ups throw up. That's a, no, I can do it. I. All that. <laughs> Dang, I didn't know you was animated though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it with the, the little, I can do with that. But you know, when they just really just give it to you. And isn't it all like real, real liquidy and stuff? Yeah, it's be not, a water It's not ball. chunky, it's just all. Especially in public, if they do that in public. Ooh. You gotta pack you <laughs> and the baby at Chico's just in case. Like, I'm gonna pack an extra shirt for the both of us <laughs> and then the baby stuff and then we'll keep it pushing. But that's it, child. I'm not worried about the poop. You worried about the poop? Not really. I'm not really. I just don't want to get it on my hand. But I don't think that's a fear. I can. I think I can deal with that one. Did you drink? I did. Like, was I drinking to try to conceive and stuff like that? I didn't feel like 
I needed to stop living my life in order to conceive. Thank God it ended up working out for me, but I wasn't going to stop doing what I was doing unless it started to become really difficult. We got pregnant off the of first round of Clomid. First round. <laughs> 50 milligrams and it worked for me. I drank all the way up until I found out that I was pregnant. So I literally drank days before I went to the doctor. I did not know I was in my two week wait. I didn't test for ovulation. I did none of that. I did what the doctor told me to do and had sex on the days that they told me to. It was every other day? Every other day for five days. I was disappointed about that. Yeah, he was very disappointed. He was like, can I get an extra day? I said, no. No extra day. We're going to do what the doctor says and how long they said from days 18 to every other day for five days. I didn't get it. And it worked. It worked. He I wasn't even, happy about it. He it wasn't worked. happy. He <laughs> wasn't happy. But it worked. Next question is, was my diet different? Not to talk. I stayed fat. I got a question. Mm -hmm. What personality do you think our kids gonna have? I think our child's gonna be like really quiet at moment. And I think they're gonna have a personality because of me. But you have a good personality too, but I'm a little more eh, out there. But your personality didn't come out until later in life. Yeah, but I didn't really have people around me like that. Well, the baby ain't gonna really have people around me. Like that. No, I didn't have adults around me like that. Oh. But we gonna be all up in the face, so yeah. So what I mean by that, we have very different personalities, but we are a lot alike at the same time. So I think it's our child is gonna grasp hold to both of those personalities. Like he can be very more like subtle, quiet, and stuff like that. And then the crazy part is I am too, but then I have moments. So I think that's what I think of I me. Mean. I think he or she is going to be intuitive. So quiet, like me a little bit, but like always asking the question why. Want to know more and more and more and more and more about stuff. And then that will lead our talk child into the talking age. I, I can foresee that our child being very, I don't know what the word you said, intuitive, inquisitive. I don't uh, know if I'm using the right word. <laughs> I would say more inquisitive. I think I might get frustrated when our child do start talking stuff and it'd be like, but why? It's good until it gets to the like, you talking back stage. Yeah, because we darn sure do that to each other. <laughs> like when we try to talk and we just we stare at each other like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> and then it'd be crazy because like, when people hear him talk, they just be like so drawn in and like listen to <laughs> everything he's saying like in the corner like, no. And I'd be like, why you questioning? Like, you just go along with the guy. It sounds good, but like certain things, I just be like, like, then just go along with it, y'all. I can't. <laughs> Going against the grain. It's like because my mind be willing and I can't. Like when I was in school, that's, I remember. I just said, going against the grain. That, that's, a, that's a good one right there. Our child will probably be going against the grain a lot. You know what else I'm going to be uh, excited about? What? Being on the couch and the remote being like five feet in front of me. And then come like, hey, hey! Both me, please. <laughs> He's worried about nothing he should be worried about. <laughs> nothing he should be worried about. Are we having a baby shower or a gender reveal? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is something I personally battled with. Don't, I am talking, I am right here. Don't roll your eyes in front of my face. I mean, it's a good chance, you know, my, my aunt was talking to me recently and she was saying how, you know, I should have one even if I have like five people there. I guess in my own personal feelings about it because I feel like a lot of my people won't be there. His family has always been supportive and I know they will be there. It's just one of those things like when I had my, um bridal shower and none of my people was there and it's just, it's just I guess I hate that feeling but it's something that I do have to deal with or get over with he can talk now because he can talk <laughs> I mean we're gonna end up doing what she wants to do but I feel like uh, there's no harm in having both uh, the gender reveal party and, and the baby shower I feel like the more support you can get the better and having the party in the first place is going to bring the support. If you don't have the party, you're not going to have the support. I understand there's personal feelings there, so... Is my family excited? Yeah, I do have a couple um, close family members that are excited. I have friends and stuff that are really excited. Yeah, 
Uh, my family and friends are excited. Uh, my mom calls me every day, asks for an update with her. My friends are excited because most of them already have kids, so they're excited to have another kid that their kid can be friends with. Uh, next question, second child in when? For me? <laughs> <laughs> So far, cause we speaking early, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got the first one here. I actually wanna have the kids close in age. I wanna just do it, get out the way and be done. I kinda want to start, I wonder what he about to say. I kinda honestly want to start around the 10 month mark. So, cause I want them to be like a year or two at most apart. So that's kinda what I see, but I might feel different with the kid here, but we'll see. <laughs> Um, I agree. I want them to be close. Maybe not as close as 10 months or anything like that. It'll I, be I, over a year. Over a year because it'll take 10 months to get here. So it'll be over, it'll be all, close to two years. Okay, that's what I want more so is them to be about two years apart. That way they can still be in, like when they're growing older, still be in same elementary school, same middle school, same high school. So the older one kind of takes care of the younger one for a little bit. Uh, next question is daycare and when? <laughs> so um, daycare, I, I can see daycare in the future because I think it's good after a while to go to daycare because they start learning social skills and there's things that we probably can't teach our kid that I think daycare and stuff like that can because I feel like daycare is like that prep for school. If I could have it my way, I want them to wait until they're close to two. I feel like when they're around that age, they, they can more so communicate better. Yeah, when, once they're able to talk, I think it's okay for them to go to daycare. But I'm okay if they don't go to daycare. Um, they'll be at home with you, right? I never heard that. I'm okay. Uh, Cause just he's, as long a, he's as a more so person that wants Wanted daycare. I mean, j just as long as I can see the kid pro 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 progressing. <laughs> just as long as I can see the kid progress, I think daycare is good for their social skills. Yeah, um, I don't want our ch child to be afraid of everybody. Like, that's so annoying ha having a kid and they're like, ah, ah, and they just want to be up under me like all day, and I don't want that. So, I mean, I think it is according to the child. So I think this can transition into the question of, I've seen it on here about um, working. For me, I'd rather stay home from work and take care of my child. And it's cheaper to keep me home than to work to pay for daycare. Now I'd rather sacrifice myself for my child in that way to make sure that my kid is safe and develop in the way and taken care in a way that I want them to. This is another reason why I want to have them back to back because I feel like it would be a less stressful transition than if it was like I was working, then have a kid, then go back to work, then get pregnant, then yeah. go home. And wouldn't it be better on your body if you had them close together too? Yeah, I think so too. It, we don't know, like we didn't have our first kid yet. So I think physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, and especially if I'm going to be breastfeeding I gotta be able to do that at least every two hours. And if I'm working, I can't do that. So working before, I'm not working right now. And working after is probably not gonna happen. So we're trying to get our minds together, our finances together to look forward to what we want to see as far as kids in our future. Yeah. All right. Will we think our baby is small or big? I'm small. She's kind of small too. It's weird. I'm small but big boned. I don't know what to say. Like it's weird because you know I'm small. I'm I'm five four. I look a lot bigger than what I am. I'm five four. He's about five six. Seven. <laughs> five seven. Child, whatever he think he is, that's what he will be. But well, but like we're both small, so I think our kids gonna be small like even though i'm like technically 
on the scale bigger. I'm actually smaller than what I look. That's what they said. That camera put 10 pounds on your child. Yes, it do. I think no more than 7.3 pounds. I'm hoping if, if if I'm going off the route that I'm going now, then our baby will be small. Now we'll see how I start the bloop, 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 bloop. But as of right now, I think the kid would be small. Yeah, so we both think the baby's gonna be small. Hospital or birthing center? Right now we are, we're looking forward to hospital. We have a couple of tours. We got a brand new hospital. <laughs> uh, he wants to get in this hospital. He wants to I wanna to see, see it. I wanna feel like a king and all of that stuff. I don't know if that's the way you feel in the hospital or whatever, but. I think he wants the whole experience. He wants the experience of being in the hospital and staying there and dealing with the services yeah. and dealing with the doctors coming yeah. and the whole, he wants the whole experience that he. I want as much help as we can get and I feel like he can get a lot of help at the hospital. And I think that's the reason why I more so want to do it just so that he can experience it because it is exciting when you go into the hospital checking in. and being there I, I don't know what the birthing experience looks like I might not give a damn dead but you know I have seen what it's like because I was in the room with my sister when she had a baby so I can understand that so right now we are looking forward to a uh, hospital but I am curious about birthing center as well now birthing center go a little bit more into birthing center that's the one that has the hot tub yeah that stuff. so I think the only reason Without why I'll be in the hot tub with you yeah if you want. I think that sounds a little cool, but it just sounds a little bit more like you're gonna have to do a lot of stuff on your own. I'm also curious about the birthing experience because I like the idea of intimacy. Hey, he could be here if he wants to. I always envisioned that he wouldn't want to, <laughs> but like, cause he, he gets in his head or whatever, but he's been through a lot of worse things. So that's, I promise you, you know, he can deal with it. So it's possible we might be uh, touring birthing centers, but you know, when you do birth centers, then you know for sure you're going natural, so. Um, that's, so, that's, the, that's what I'm afraid of, yeah. it's going natural, uh, I think I, it's going to be tough. I, it's, I, I'm a sickly bean and this, I feel- This pregnancy has been tough so far. And I guess this can go into the transition question whether I go natural or medicated. Right now I'm like 80-20. So I'm 80% getting epidural and 20% curious about going natural. How did you feel at the first ultrasound? I was kind of like, oh that's what it looks like. It looks like a little <laughs> finger. It's like a little kind of circle area where everything's at. But we were like, oh, there's something there. Yeah, I think- There's definitely something she's pregnant, so we could see that she was pregnant. Yeah. I think for me, it was more so surprising because I have seen my ovaries before. And to see that space that fits the baby was surprising to me. So for me, it was like a reality check. Where do you see our channel going? Where would we like to see it? I feel like we're gonna do nothing but grow. I feel like we've invested a lot into this mm -hmm. and we put a lot of money and groundwork into the beginning. So we start off good mm -hmm. and we kind of started with a run and start. We're doing very good right now. So I can only see this as expanding, maybe possibly being a career thing. I know for you for sure, maybe for me in the future, because it's, we've gotten a lot of positivity out of this. Uh, from your feedback that you guys give to us, it's helped us out a lot. Um, and then you, you get a sense of freedom mm -hmm. of just filming your life and, and being creative with the videos that you make and what you want to share with the world. So I see nothing but positivity from this. I see uh, maybe a little bit more content for myself in the future. Uh, but yeah, it's Yeah, Dr. Martin Luther King, you always be trying to go on a tangent. But um, yeah, I do see for me and I hope that I'm able to make YouTube into a career. I'm very surprised that how much we have grown in the six, seven months I have been doing YouTube. I kind of want to see it grow even more into a family channel. Yeah. I see it being more vlogs in the future and more lifestyle. So I feel like our lives are very interesting. All we need is just to bring the camera along. Yeah, you know, because <laughs> we do a lot more than what I actually show. And I gotta do better. I think once I get better in my pregnancy, I'll be able to expose more. And this kind of goes into something else because someone asked me about uh, whether I want to change the name of my channel eventually down the road or if I want to keep it the same.
Oh, when is my due date? My due date is March 8th. I think 8th's running our family because it's like I'm, my birthday is the 18th. July 18th. And his birthday is March 18th. And I was born in 88. <laughs> I was born at 89. It's a lot of 18. And right our baby's birthday is March 8th. Eight. So it's just so fun. A lot of 8. It's a lucky number, <laughs> definitely. So I think this is going to be it for this video. This is kind of like an open forum slash discussion. If more you want to. Sorry. 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 I'm trying to kind of get I'm it. Sorry. Let if you like these videos, let us know in the comments. You want to see more videos like this let us know so like i said i think this is going to be all for now and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys next time